Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's tutorial I'm going to talk about my three uh, most used plugins for After Effects. These are the three plugins that I use almost every project, I think every project uh, to be honest. Uh, so I just wanted to let you guys know which one of those, which ones of those are and uh, how to use them. And just a disclaimer, I'm not being paid by any of the creators of these plugins, it's just my personal preference that I want to share with you guys. So let's head on into my first, and first it's an honorable mention, and that's Budcap. So this is not in my uh, official top three, but the Budcapper is so awesome and easy to use that I had to mention it. Let's say you're creating a line, a stroke, uh, let's make it a bit bigger for this example and it always uh, automatically has this square ending so if i want to give it a round cap i have to open my uh, shape layer go to the contents go to the shape one stroke one and all the way here somewhere is a line cap and i have to change that to a round cap which is a pain in the ass so let's uh, undo that and what i can actually do is go to my butt capper and just click on this little icon and then it gets a round cap um, really easy, should have been in After Effects from the start. If I have a corner in my line, I can just hold Option on my keyboard and then click it and then it will round out those corners. So that's a handy free little tool called Butt Capper. And on to the next one, which is Flow. So about Flow, the plugin you can see right here, it's really great for creating nice, easy ease effects. Let's just open up this uh, little uh, line I created here and add a trim path, which I can animate. So let's animate the end point from zero to 100. So this little line grows out like that. And if I want to ease that, I'm going to right click, keyframe easy assistant, uh, assistant easy ease, and then I can change those values in my graph editor. But what I can also do with Flow is select an easing option you like. They are pre-installed within Flow. Let's say an exponential in and out. And I can apply that. And that actually applies that easing effect in my graph editor to my selected keyframes. So if I select them and if I change it to exponential in and I hit apply, you can see the graph editor changing, which is awesome. And let's say if I like this one, but it's maybe a bit too fast or something, I can just change it right here. I can pick these handles and I can change my whole ease. I can create my own custom ease. So maybe let's say I like uh, exactly this one. Hit apply and watch that. I don't like that one, by the way. So maybe something like this. Okay. I like that one. And I want to save this exact same uh, parameters i can go to this little save uh, this little star icon here and save that to cap keyframe all right nice it's saved and in my uh, user library i have this exact same easing so if i just apply something else and i select them and i go to my user library and select this one then boom it's exactly that apply that and i can export that, li that library and someone else if they also have flow, they can import it in their After Effects project and they can use the exact same uh, easing method. So that's flow, uh, a really easy and great way to um, apply easing effects to your animations. Next up, motion. So motion is right here and this is one of the most incredible tools ever created for After Effects. So let's say i'm going to it has all these different options and it also has this kind of thing like flow built in because if i what i'm going to do with this one is scale this from zero to 100 and i can put an ease in that with that uh, on that with uh with flow just like this and i open this, uh, this up and i can see my thing here but what i can also do is use motion for that. So I can select these if I just open my graph editor and I select my two keyframes and I can change this up and it gives me that easing as well. And I can turn on the ins, in and out ease. So that's all also a great tool for quick and easy editing. Um, but the main thing what I like about Flow is that you can actually see the curvature here. Um, but that's a big option from motion too. Another option it has is this, if I click on this, then I open my 
uh, move anchor point tool. So I have my anchor point is right now, I can move it with this one. Uh, it's on this bottom corner, but if I want it to be exactly in the middle, I just click this little button here and then boom, it's in the middle or at the top or at the top right, whatever you want. Uh, I want it now in this particular place, so let's put it back. So that's an option for motion. And then I have all these great options here and I'm not going to go into in detail about all of them because you can just watch the tutorial on motion itself from the creator of motion. But I'm just going to uh, lift out a few. So what I like the most is just if I select this, uh, let's just give this some easing. Uh, okay, and then give this some rotation. I want it to rotate in a kind of bit. I want it to bounce a bit. So I'm going to go to rotation and turn it down. And then these two, I can select these and I can go for the excite button. And what excite does, it actually adds some excitement with a click of a mouse button. So if I now watch this back, it has this little bounce only with expressions on this rotation uh, effect. So if I also do that with this one, let's give this some scale uh, to 100. And I give this some rotation as well. Uh, down and put them here. Uh, excite that as well, and maybe offset this a bit. So now I have this awesome little animation with only the excite button and the easing. So that's uh, a really great tool to uh, create some really nice looking bouncy effects on your animations. Um, uh, let's see what we have. Uh, you can create a null with motion, but if you want to create a null, you can do layer new null object or the not so shortcut command option shift Y. Let's create a null, or you can just click here in motion to create a null object. Easy. And uh, we have other options like spin. So let's say I want this little item to spin around. Just click spin. There you go. It spins around. You can change here in the effect controls. You can change its parameters, so I want it to spin a bit slower or a whole lot faster. And the direction, going left or right, and all right, cool, awesome, let's spin, let's delete that for now. Uh, we also have orbit, so if I click on orbit and it moves position, and I can select my orbit target, so let's say I want my this leaf to be the target, which is layer number four. So select this and go to layer number four as my target. So now this thing, zoom out, orbits around that target. Um, and I can change how my, how uh, as fast it's going, like, like three, and it can be a lot closer. There you go. And if I wanna do this like this, and I, then it does that. So that's kind of awesome. Uh, yeah, that's orbit. Nice, let's delete that again. Uh, what else do we have? We have stare. So if I want this one to stare at something, also give it a target like number four. And if I re um, uh, move this I, uh, element, sorry, then it just keeps staring. I'm not doing anything, it's just keeping, using expressions to stare at that point, at the anchor point of that um, shape. So that's really nice. And then we have all these other options like you can name your layer, um, flower, okay, and then in here the, the layer name will change, rename, oh, layer name, uh, flower number one, and it, it, if I select them all, and I can go to flower, rename them, and one, two, three, four, which is easy. And I can create burst effects really easily within uh, with motion. All these different effects, which is incredible for uh, a plugin that's only like 40 bucks or, some, or something. Uh, change the position of that burst. I can get how many, uh, how uh, large it looks, or the copies revolution. Um, let's see the offset, how, ma how much it offsets. Uh, distance from the center, let's make it a, a little bit smaller. I can create different colors, everything you want, stroke width or no stroke width. So you can easily create some popping accents like this. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, that's motion. Uh, it's a great tool. And if you want to delete any of these effects, um, so if I 
put like a spin effect on it. Uh, you can just select it and then go to uh, the trash can and in this case go to rotation, click on rotation and go to trash can and delete those um, parameters. So just when you delete something with a motion, use the trash can right here to keep it nice and tidy. So that's um, a look at motion and last but not least, rift. So I've got all these animated tulips right here and they are looking mighty fine, but I want them to be offset. Uh, I want them to offset the animation to go right after each other. So I want this one to go first and then this one, uh, this one, this one, this one. Uh, what I can do is zoom in here a bit and then move everything up one frame, which does that. But I'm not stupid, I'm going to use plugins. And we have Rift here, and with Rift you can actually change the um, placement of your layers. So if I go to arrange and let's say uh, I want it to go one frame and I want to do descent and I hit the apply button, there you go. It, it puts everything one frame further, but I want it to go six frames and I want it to ascend like the other way around, just like that. And now you can see that the first one moves first, then the second one, third one, and now it goes in sequence. Uh, I can also uh, go for randomize, so minimum of 10 frames, maximum of 40 frames. So minimum of zero and maximum 40. Select them all and hit the apply button and then it randomizes your objects. So if I wanted to do a bit faster, I want a maximum 20, like that. And now it's randomized which is great. Uh, I can also, uh, if I just select uh, position as well, and I want to change the position from them, uh, like maybe a bit down and up. So I just hit the tilde key on my keyboard, by the way, to full screen this, uh, tilde key again, and give this an exponential just for convenience sake. And I can check off the layer icon here and only get the keys and if i select uh, if i now press my apply button for arrange and it only will only arrange my keyframes and it will leave my uh, layer layers intact like that uh, and that's a quick look of, uh, of rift you have a lot more options you can um, create different uh, states or different uh, templates kind of if you want you can change the unit to frames or seconds or milliseconds or whatever uh, a whole lot going on here and i'll encourage you to check it out for yourself so that are my uh, three or actually four most used plugins in after effects uh, i'll leave descriptions of them of uh, i mean i'm sorry i'll leave links of them where you can purchase them in the description of this video and i'll leave it at that and i thank you and i hope to see you on the next tutorial on cam keyframe Thanks, bye-bye.